I'm Jimmy Chang, and we're here to talk about how to work out averages. Now, this is actually a fairly straightforward process once you get the hang of the steps, and so let's go right into it. Now, when it comes to working out averages, you have to have a set of numbers. And so let's just um, you know, make up some numbers along the way. Suppose you have 6, 10, 2, 3, and let's just say 12. Now, the important thing about averaging is you want to think about how many numbers that you have because that's what you're going to be dividing by. Now, here we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So at the end of the day, to find out the averages, you need to divide by the number 5. Now, where you go from there is you're going to take all five of your numbers and you're going to add them. So 6 plus 10, that's going to give you 16. 16 plus 2, that's going to give you 18. 18 plus 3 is 21. And 21 plus 12 is going to give you 33. Okay, now you take 33 and then you divide by 5. Now you could leave it as an improper fraction if you want, but just to give us a little bit of context, let's go ahead and divide 5 into 33. Now, 5 goes into 33 6 times. 6 times 5 is going to be 30, and remainder of 3. Now, you can think of it as 6 and 3 fifths, or you can convert this to 6.6. So basically, this is an example of how average works. But just to recap, you add all the numbers that you have together, and then you divide by how many actual figures that you have. In this case, we had five of them. And then to find out the actual average, you just use long division to give yourself a decimal representation. Sometimes it could be a whole number, but it all depends on what kind of numbers you have to begin with. So I'm Jimmy Chang, and that's how you do averages.